Henry James is my great-grandfather. My grandfather, Mervyn, was his youngest son, his sixth son, and uh, then he then went on to have my father, Bob, and then I'm the next generation, so I'm four generations removed from H.J. Yeah, I'm fourth generation of, of uh, H.J. Jones, or Henry uh, Jones, and uh, he was my great-grandfather, and uh, one of his sons, Liebert, was my grandfather, and then uh, Alan Jones was my father, who was the uh, youngest son of Liebert, and then, so I'm fourth generation. These two branches of the larger Jones family now run Jones Packaging and H.J. Jones Sons Limited, respectively. These businesses represent a legacy dating back to 1882, making the Jones organization one of London's oldest family-owned enterprises. It was 1872, and Henry James Jones was just seven years old when his family arrived in London, Ontario, from England. As a young man, he worked at the London Advertiser, where he met Frank Lawson. The two eventually went into business together, establishing Lawson and Jones as a printing and lithography business. Henry, known as Harry, married Elizabeth Jones Stewart in 1886, and over the years the couple had 11 children, four passing away in infancy. Harry and his partner Frank Lawson ran Lawson and Jones for over 30 years, but at the early age of 46, Frank suddenly passed away, and Harry decided to sell his interest in the business. And then at the age of 48, he was sitting there having spent a series of years of his development growing Lawson and Jones with no business, and his sons had no business. And he turned around six days later and incorporated H.J. Jones and Sons. And then again, Jones Box and Label and the London Paper Company. H.J. remained active in the companies for many more years, earning a reputation in the London community as a fair, respectful, and honest man. In fact, there is a letter dating to 1913 given to H.J. from his employees, recognizing his integrity and commitment to the business. One such employee, Don Howard, spent his whole working life at H.J. Jones and recalls meeting Henry as an apprentice in 1943. He used to come around and he'd speak to all the employees as if he knew them by name. So he said, well, he says, I'll see you here again sometime. He says, um, and I'll remember your name. I thought, well, I don't know how he's going to remember my name, really. I said, well, oh, that'll be nice then. He said, well, he says, I will. I'll remember it. And lo and behold, he came in about another three months. He came up and he said, hi, Don, how are you doing? Well, I thought that was really something, really, you know. So I went home, and of course, I told my mom and dad that the, this big, important gentleman that owned the company and that was a chairman of the board spoke to me. And I was only a kid of 16, really, so he left a, quite an impression on me. Once his companies were in the capable hands of his sons, Harry spent the remainder of his days at the summer residence, Oak Cliff, on the shore of Lake Huron. His grandson, David, remembers spending time with him. And he said he proposed digging a well at a summer cottage, and it was going to be four feet in diameter and 18 feet deep. And uh, he wanted to know how much earth would be displaced by that because he was thinking of using it in a garden to create a garden. So I thought, oh golly, algebra, here we come, you know. I never thought of algebra in terms of digging a well, but anyhow, it was the uh, volume of a cube, of a, a cylinder, and so uh, four feet diameter, that's two feet radius, uh, pi r squared, and uh, I came up with 270 cubic feet. Seemed like a lot of earth. But nevertheless, he, he thanked me and left. And I went home and desperately went through my books trying to see if that was right. Henry James died in 1952. His business legacy remains. His integrity and values passed on. The foundation still supporting businesses that are thriving in London today. I look at some of the way that we do things today and how procedures were, you know, started up back 50, 60 years ago, and we're still using some of the same procedures. So, yeah, I can kind of see how some of his legacy is carrying on through there. So I'm thrilled for H.J. because he's a man of great vision. He was a true innovator. He didn't buy the company. He didn't inherit the company. He created four companies for the London business community, three of which are still in operation today. 
we all knew and respected him so greatly and we all measured his contribution to the community of London. I think he was a, a gentleman that had a lot of um, concern for other people, which meant a lot to the employees too, really. So I think he really deserves it. Great man. Henry James Jones, 2006 Laureate, London Business Hall of Fame.